Hi guys, welcome back to Conscious Life TV. Today I am going to share some of my baby favorites. Xavier is um, about 16 months old now, so we are getting out of the baby stage and full force into the rambunctious toddler stage. But nevertheless, um, I have a lot of people ask me questions about what I, what products I use to take care of him. So I'm just going to get right into it. One of the first things I want to share, we actually do not use anymore, but it is called the Blooming Bath. Um, this was a baby shower gift. It was absolutely one of my favorite things that I got and used for Xavier. What I love about this is that it's super soft, feels kind of like felt, it's very thick. And when you are prepping a sink bath for the baby, when you find the right temperature of the water, you put this in and let the water start to run down over it. And each of the petals will absorb the warm water. So by the time you put your little guy or your little gal into this, it's already nice and warm for them. And Xavier loved this. He basically slept every time we gave him a bath because this was so comfortable. So um, I believe this was ordered off of Amazon. I don't know if any local stores sell them, but I would highly recommend this product. The second thing that I used pretty much from the time Xavier was born, so if you don't know, he was born with a ton of hair. And cradle cap is obviously a concern for all babies, but if you don't get ahead of it, your babies that are born with a lot of hair will end up losing all their hair. Xavier's hair did not fall out, so this is what I did. Every night that I would bathe him, before bathing him, I would just get like a little half a teaspoon or a teaspoon full of coconut oil and I would do probably two drops of lavender essential oil and just warm it up and mix it in the palm of my hand and massage his scalp with it. So not only did it prevent cradle cap, he had I think maybe one little spot with cradle cap, but it also made his hair come in even thicker. So he had crazy amounts of hair and I would recommend these two. This is organic coconut oil. A lot of people think that stuff like this is too expensive to purchase, but our local health food store sells this small size for, um, I believe, $5.95 a jar, so that's very affordable, and it literally lasts forever. I use it on my skin. I use it on Xavier. Um, we do a pre-teeth brushing with coconut oil. That's something we can talk about in another video, but anyway great products and I think the lavender essential oil which this brand Veriditas has organic essential oils so I believe this is about ten dollars and these two products will last at least a month if you're using them like just for your baby and using them sparingly so anyway great purchase so the next thing since we're talking about bath time that I loved was the Walita products that we got as a baby shower gift. I've never used Walita on any of my other children. Um, it was just one of those things, it's you know fairly expensive as far as baby products go, so I would just always use coconut oil because like I said, a jar of it's $5.95. So this stuff is magic on their skin. Xavier has never even had a diaper rash and I attribute that to two things, the Alita products and the diapers that I use for him, which I'll show in a minute. But he did in the winter, um, we have a well water, so our water is probably a bit harder. We don't have a water softener and he started to get the little dry red patches on his skin. And I had the Walita Calendula baby oil and then the baby cream, not the lotion. The cream is a bit thicker. And I would just mix the two in my hand and massage them with it after a bath. If he got any of those splotches, by the next morning they would be almost gone. So this brand is amazing. I've actually stuck with the brand. And I, I would, I mean, I've tried Burt's Bees a lot of different baby products and I would say I have probably never used anything 
as good as Walita's baby products. I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing something right. So, and and again, they're a hundred percent certified natural and ninety nine percent organic. So, really good for the baby's skin as well. So this has been a recent thing that I've incorporated into Xavier's bath routine. Um, this was a present from his Aunt Catherine, and it is the Monate Junior line of shampoos. Um, she gave this to us because, as I said, he had a wild mane full of hair, and because he's a boy, it was always tangled and sticking up in the back. So she gave this, and it came with a conditioner and a detangling spray, and yes, he has enough hair to need detangling spray. So I love the smell of this. It's sulfate and paraben free. Um, they have a lot of different products for grown-ups, um, hair oils, hair growth line, but I actually really have enjoyed this for Xavier now that he needs a shampoo uh, separate from his body wash. So check that out. All right, moving right along. Okay, Xavier has never had a diaper rash. I have he's my fifth child. I have never had a child who has not had at least one diaper rash. Two of my girls were really sensitive so they could only use one brand of diaper and they still got diaper rashes but not one. And since he's been born I have been using Honest diapers from the Honest Company by Jessica Alba. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. And to, to be honest with you, I originally purchased them because I read that they were more biodegradable. The average diaper takes about 13 years to fully decompose. So if you think about that, when your child is going into junior high, their diapers will be done decomposing. That's really disgusting to me. But I read that this particular brand of diaper would fully break down in three years. So that was very attractive to me. That's the reason I initially wanted to go with this diaper. Now, I have used cloth diapers, and cloth diapers are just a hassle um, if you are busy at all, if you work outside of the home. So in the past, what I would do is I would have disposable diapers for when we went on outings, but I would mostly use cloth diapers. With Xavier, um, I haven't used cloth diapers. He's just a busy baby. He, he's been busy and he's required a lot of attention since he's been born. And I can barely keep up with our laundry, much less laundering cloth diapers on a daily basis. So I would recommend these. Now they look really expensive. One thing I actually really, really love about this brand is that they have seasonal prints. I just think it's adorable. You don't pay more for the seasonal prints. They cost the same as the plain diapers. But, um, so these are two of their fall diapers. I don't know if you guys can see that, but can you see that? But they are stinking cute. Um, and that's not a big deal, but I look forward to seeing the seasonal prints. And they have an overnight diaper as well, which Xavier is a leaker at night. Um, so I keep their overnight diapers on hand. They actually don't look that much thicker than the normal diapers, but they really work well. So I would highly recommend the Honest Company. They do have their own brand of wipes. And we are on auto ship. So I'll actually show you the app. You can download their app on their phone and you can adjust your auto ship, you know, as needed for the baby. So there have been times that I haven't ordered diapers for Xavier for eight weeks. Nevertheless, you download the app on your phone and you can pull up your account. It's actually under my husband's name. Um, where are we at? Bundles. It's really easy. So here are my bundles. I have them on an every six week rotation, which normally works. But as I said, I've pushed it back to eight weeks if we've had an accumulation of diapers. So the wipes are basically free when you're doing the auto ship. You are, are paying for a month's worth of diapers 
or you know a month or six weeks two months worth and then the wipes that come with it are basically free I highly recommend the company I have not been disappointed with anything that I've used from the honest company so the next thing I want to share with you I actually this came from Amazon um, you could probably Google organic cotton blankets but this was a swaddle blanket that we used from the time Xavier was a newborn also a gift like I said it came off of Amazon I don't know what brand it is this blanket is amazing it is super soft it's hundred percent cotton and it's a bit thicker than the normal swaddle blanket if you can see but this was a great product for us because Xavier hates PJs he's getting better but he also hated thick covers he didn't like a lot on him so I would a lot of times let him sleep in his diaper or just a onesie and swaddle him in this which was about right he didn't wake up drenched in sweat or anything he is a hot sleeper so he's kind of out of that now but I would highly recommend if you could find this product on Amazon it kind of has the I don't know if you call that waffling but it's a really phenomenal blanket and honestly when they're infants when they're newborns you know your skin is your body's largest organ so if you can find a high quality organic swaddle blanket I would highly recommend it because you know when they sleep if they're sweating their pores are open whatever is coming off of that um, cloth is going into their body so if you can find an organic blanket I would recommend it that's a great one I was going to share this I still take a prenatal because um, Xavier does still nurse at bedtime um, and I've always stayed on prenatals for the duration of children nursing so my kind organics from Garden of Life this is a um, raw prenatal I love this prenatal I don't know if you can see it but I like pretty much any product by Garden of Life but these prenatals just have been easy for me to digest I take them before bed and I don't get any acid reflux or indigestion from them so I would highly recommend these prenatals plant-based okay so the next few products that I was going to talk about Xavier is obviously teething and he is for the most part he's very busy but he is a happy guy however when he's teething he is very angry and I don't want to be giving him Motrin or Tylenol all the time so I've found a few products that work for us to kind of calm his system one I found when Dom and I were on vacation in Maui at the health food store this is called Dr. King's teething it's a spray not drops but um, you just spray it on their gums this product is amazing when I take the cap off Xavier actually gets excited and it doesn't taste like anything I've tasted it. it literally tastes like water but he loves it it makes him feel better so this is something I would recommend if you can find it I don't know if they sell it on Amazon but maybe you can look for it and find it then going back to something that I already showed you I'm telling you essential oils are a godsend we use them we laugh that I've got an oil for everything you know the thing is with natural medicine if you want to call it that is <clears throat> these oils are preventative so we want to do everything we can to keep ourselves from getting sick in the first place right we want to avoid cancer and diabetes and autoimmune disease if we can do things to help prevent disease disease in our body we should be doing them so that's why I'm a huge advocate for essential oils we use them on a daily basis we use them to help with allergies we use them for immune boost and I've had great success with them obviously before you do anything for your baby you should probably you should ask your doctor and you know educate yourself don't just do something because someone says they did it on YouTube read up on it so for teething same two products lavender is very calming to the system so I will take the coconut oil 
and I'll take the lavender, same blend in my hand, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of coconut oil with two, sometimes three drops of lavender. And a lot of times when babies are teething, their jaws hurt and behind their ears will be sore. So I will massage this um, Xavier's skin isn't sensitive to it. Most people are okay with lavender because it's a gentle oil. You definitely, if you're going to use essential oils, want to dilute it with coconut oil or olive oil. I prefer coconut oil, but you use what you think works for you. Um, but at any rate, I just massage it behind his ears, along his jawline especially before bed. It's very calming to him. He sleeps better. You can rub it on the bottom of his feet. And then I have also massaged, if I know a tooth is coming through, around the gum of that particular tooth. Don't do that unless you talk to your doctor first. Your doctor may feel differently about essential oils, but educate yourself. So, the next two products, well, the last two products I believe I have here Baby's Magic Tea. <laughs> Xavier is wired. He is just a busy boy. And getting him to calm down and then to stay asleep has been an ordeal, especially when he's teething. So his daddy found this organic baby tea on the internet. And they actually advertise this tea for babies who are very gassy or have colic any kind of constipation, babies with acid reflux. And the blend, if I can find it here, fennel, cumin, and chamomile. And so we just brew the tea, we let it cool off, we put it over a little bit of ice for Xavier, the cold is really soothing to his gums, and it really helps him sleep, it's a great product. So I've really been thankful for the extra sleep, this company, Secrets of Tea, this mama is getting at least five hours of sleep a night as opposed to three, so thank you for that. <laughs> and then the last product is actually not a baby product. This is called Natural Calm. They have it um, unflavored. This is a raspberry lemon flavor. And it's just magnesium concentrate. Mix it with a little bit of warm water and it will fizz up. And once the fizz dies down, you can put a tiny bit of cold water. You can take it as a shot. But I give Xavier a tiny bit of this before bed as well. I also give it to Gavin. I have really wild boys and Gavin will actually ask me to make his calm before bed because he's seven and he recognizes that once it's been in his system, he's more ready for bed. So great product. Almost everyone in my family uses this. It's very safe. Again, do your research. Ask your doctor before you start giving it to your baby. That is all that I have to share with you. If you have questions about any of these products, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.